This is a video on the fundamentals of our basic forms. First of all, a form does not use the exact motions that you'll use in an actual fight. You would never actually punch somebody like this or this. You would never actually block like this. However, the stances and the techniques you use during the form formalize and uh, make cut and dry the fundamentals of those techniques. For example, to make a firm stance, if your feet are in a straight line this way, it's as if you're standing on a balance beam. If your feet are shoulder apart this way, you have a lot more stability. If the knee is straight in front, that's a vulnerability to getting the knee hyperextended. But if your knee is bent in the front, it now is a, it defends itself by being bent. Somebody could actually stand on the knee. So with a front stance, if you start off feet together, go shoulder width apart, and then take one of your feet, one, two, three foot widths forward, and then bend your front knee, that's a basic front stance. You don't want them in a line. You want them shoulder width apart, all toes forward for a front stance. And then uh, one of the most important blocks in basic one and two is the high block. Even though it goes high, the motion should not be straight up. When you go straight up with the block, you're combating whatever's coming down on your head. And the person who's attacking has gravity on their side and inertia on their side. If I could borrow Miss Ashley, please. And let's go from this angle so that I can see clearly. If she's coming straight down on my head and I go straight up, she's got gravity and inertia on her side. Whichever is stronger is going to win. And if this is a weapon, that's going to be her that wins. So rather than coming straight up, I start kind of from the side. And when she comes up, I redirect whatever it is and let it finish its course over there. Let's do it again. Let me use my other hand. So rather than straight up, which will hurt my arm, I'm going to come from the side and leave my arm at an angle where it's like a watershed. It goes right off. A common mistake with a high block is to do them here. Of course, this leaves your head wide open. So you want to start from the side, make a circle, and go over like this. Finally, with basic one, we punch in the solar plexus. With basic two, we punch in the philtrum. So as you do basic two, if you look in the mirror, your nose should be sitting right there. With basic one, your fist should be right in the middle, not here, but in the middle and at the solar plexus. Thank you very much, Sensei Ashley, and thank you for watching.